Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Mid City Pirate Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So, today what I want to do is I actually want to check out the uh, Goon Refuge. Now, I haven't actually done this before. So, yeah, I think it's one of the newer um, maps that we can visit. So, it hasn't been out for all that long. But, yeah, I do want to um, jump in, see what it's all about and see what type of loot that we can get from it. Now, I am um, prepared. I am ready to go. Um... Look, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be too overpowered for this one here. I possibly would be, but you know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, so with that being said and done, let's jump in. Now we've got that on the global map now, so let's go ahead and head out. And uh, yeah, see where, where it is and we'll head over. Okay. Show me. Definitely, definitely show. Alright, so let's get rid of this. Um, okay, so you are way over there, my guy. Okay, fair enough. Now, hopefully it's going to be a decent island to go to. I'm not too sure. Like I said, I haven't done it before. Um, seems like you guys had, um, you know, you guys were pretty happy or pretty um, pretty content with um, the, uh, the pirate camps that I've done. So I've done one through three now, which is good. So now I'm sort of tackling different islands and things like that, just to sort of see, um, you know, how they go and how they sort of fare compared to, you know, the norm, so to speak. Alright, so it looks fairly, um, fairly reminiscent to some of the other islands that we've got here. Oop. Unfortunately, it's got his attention without being a little bit on the sneaky side, but that's okay. Actually, what I might end up doing is, I think I might just pop that there for the moment. Oop. I don't want to, I wanted to take some of that with me. I figured I, I may as well just grab some of this as I'm going along. A little bit of heals, you know, doesn't sort of go astray. Um, Alright, let's see. What do we have over here? So we've got a seasoned pirate there. Let's just drag him out. And one more hit should do him. Alright, so nothing too crazy. We've got one fellow that's sort of patrolling the area, so I'm not too sure what that is all about, but let's just drag him across. Okay, so I think he is a um, little knifey guy. Ooh. Oh, there we go. So this patrol dude. Yeah, that's, that's the one I was worried about. Just making sure that we get rid of him and... You know, we don't fall into any sort of trap. Oh, there's another one. Oh, okay. Right. Well, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and heal while we're on the subject. Heal again. Take him out. Okie dokie. Now, we've got a green NPC in there as well. Okay. This is not going to go down well because I'm going to need powder kegs for this. Right, I do need some powder kegs for this, this is, okay. It's not gonna be, uh, okay, all right. I think I might have to go over to the, the, the merchant ship there to see if I can pick up a couple, but um, yeah, all right. Ooh, how do I get you out? Now we've got this fella after us. He's all right, he's just a, um, He's just got a sledgehammer kind of deal. So, yeah, we should be able to dispatch both of them quite easily. And so far, you know, with the uh, with the wheel lock, I'm not doing too badly with it. Although I'm nearly sort of running out of that um, durability as well. So, yeah, that's something they're just got to be mindful of. Let's just quickly heal. Just going to heal one more time. And then I will probably just pop that on. Take you out. And take you out. There we go, we're good now. Alright, look, while we're here, I may as well loot what I can. Just see what's what. Um, I'll definitely take those. Okay, so there is someone that's, um, ooh, there is someone there that does need saving. And then we've got the seasoned Corsair. 
He's 504, so he's a little bit tougher than the other guys. Interesting. Ooh. Much tougher. Much, much tougher. And then we've got a season pirate. He's just sitting in there. He's just chilling. Okay, one more hit should do him. Alright, so that's... Looks like that's everyone. Let's just quickly do a quick perimeter search around the, um... Around the, the map here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to need to, yeah, I'm going to definitely need to head out and see if I can get some powder kegs. Uh, let's get rid of that. Um, oh, cool. Not that far away, which is a good thing for me. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's dive in. Okay, let's head over to the other end of the ship. Actually, what, um, coastal fort, boarding merchants, abandoned trader camp, and boarding merchants again. 124 boarding merchants. I think I've already got a couple of those maps as well, which is probably, and sorry, that's one of the other ones that I want to do as well. Okay, so powder keg, let's just go ahead and buy up all the powder kegs. Um... There's nothing else here that I can pick up. Uh, is there anything down here that I can get? Anything of an explosive in nature? That'd be really good. Really helpful. Um, nothing here. Oops. Uh, nothing here. And uh, nothing here. Okay, so it doesn't look good, guys. I think I've been down here once or twice before just to sort of see what is what, but I haven't seen anything that I've been, you know, really sort of wanting. I mean, I, I guess the only interesting thing that I'd be more um, inclined to be looking at is uh, stuff from this fella here. Uh, so from the boat merchant. So things like, um, you know, the masts and all that sort of stuff, um, possibly the rigging, you know, just so I can upgrade my boats and, and things like that, you know, as time sort of moves on. Um, I guess that's probably the only other thing I'd be interested in, really. Alright, let's um, see what you've got. So, yeah. Okay, so there's a pirate lair. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that's when you can get your, um, your, your lost and stolen goods. Okay, that's fine. No problems there, and no nothing there for me to get. Okay, cool. Now, look, hopefully... This should be enough. Um, I did have um, someone comment in one of my previous videos, and I think this was on um, the, the last Pirate Camp video that I did. Uh, if I attack windows and doors, I've been told, the, um, they take less to break. So less kegs to break, so I'm hoping that would be the case. Because if I can get two out of three, I think I'd be happy with that. Um, yeah. But I think I've got one more at home, which I can always grab. So I'm not going to go for that one there, but I definitely want to go for, see, and it makes it so much harder when I'm not in position. I'm hoping this is the right one. Uh, hello? Okay, cool. So that, that was right, so there was two, perfect. Let's go ahead and save the sailor. Uh, can I talk to you first? Cool. So we saved him. Thank you, I'm off, see you soon, okay. Not a problem. Let's see what we've got in the Litsky here. Uh, all right, so nothing crazy. This I'm thinking it's a big loots. Nothing really crazy there actually. Alright, well, look, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to um, uh, skedaddle over here. And I do want to get myself into here. Okay, so that's one. And then that's two. Perfect. 
Alright, cool. So we've got these two here that we can open up. Okay, so we've got some boots. Actually, I'll definitely should take the linen with me. Oh, sorry, the, uh, yeah, linen. And what else do we have over here? Um, okay, look. I don't know if it's actually worth it. The price of admission here. To try and get in here and actually do something. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I'm, a, if I'm an actual fan. I mean, if there was anything else that I could probably possibly pick up, um, yeah, I mean, if there was any more sort of, I guess, rarer or, you know, better to come by, um, you know, resources or anything like that, I could probably, you know, I could probably say, yeah, I'd, I'd, um, I'd definitely jump into it and I'll be a little bit more inclined in, in, um, you know, in picking up a few things, but other than, other than that, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, um, yeah, not too sure if I'm actually fond of this. Hey, look, I don't know whether or not if it's, um, if it's something that, you know, um, you know, other, I guess, versions of this, I mean, admittedly, this was only, what, um, a level 40, so I don't know whether or not that has anything to do with it, I look, honestly couldn't tell you, um, but that's what I'm thinking. If I do like a level 60, you know, will I get better, would I get better resources? Who knows? Um, I'm not sure. But one thing I do want to try before we duck out. Now, no, it doesn't look like it, it's going to sort of appear. That's okay. I was sort of thinking if I could actually get myself in here without having to use any kegs, um, that would have been awesome, but that's not uh, the case. But I'm just going to go ahead and eat some of these things as well while we're at it, just so I can get some um, health and whatnot back up. Okay, so that's all good. Yeah, not too sure about this. Yeah, I'm not going to go for the last, um, for the last, uh, what do you call it? The last bit of loot there. I know it's there. What do we got over here? Look at the dead man's tool. Ooh. I think we're going to go over here, guys. There's a lot of coal there. There appears to be a lot of coal. Okay, alright, well, let's, um... Go ahead and... Head over there, so to speak. Before we do that, let's just quickly eat up on that. Um, I don't think I want... Do I want to trade anything off here? Not too sure. Look, for now, we'll just leave it. It's been a while since I've done a dead man's chest, so I don't know what to expect here. They said there was going to be a lot of charcoal here. So I'm just, I'm curious. I'm very curious. May as well check it out. Well, we've got walnut log there. I don't know whether or not, if it's um, borderline just on the deception side of things, who knows, but, you know. Let's just suss things out. Uh, one more hit. There we go. Take some of that with me. Alright, so look, what, what I want to um, sort of, I guess, well, I wouldn't say a, a dress or anything like that, but I mean, in terms of uh, what I want to do, you know, progressively with the game, I guess the, the next thing I want to do is I want to um, upgrade my base. So that's probably one thing um, you might, you know, catch me doing from time to time when I'm sort of, you know, uh, recording videos or, you know, in my adventures, so to speak. So, yeah, I do want to, um, uh, yeah, fortify the base a little bit better. And, um, yeah, hopefully it'll stand up to, um, you know, enemy attacks or, you know, raiding and all that sort of stuff once, you know, if I do end up, um, uh, you know, getting a little bit more involved into raiding. Because at, at, at the moment, you know, with the new mechanic and the new system, it's good. It's a little bit better than it was in the past because you're not more I I mean for my experiences and I can only talk about my own experiences um, that we're not as vulnerable to an attack straight away as opposed to um, you know what we had in the past so what I mean by that is the way that it's set up that you have to obtain um, you know uh, scrolls and whatnot from the merchant uh, ship before you can actually sort of attack there it's you know it's I guess in a way it's better 
that you're not going to get a random attack from someone that's you know in a nearby sort of proximity. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but that's my I guess um, my take on it or my interpretation on it. Oop. Um, but yeah, that's how I sort of feel about it. Ooh, this pirate leader. Okay, we got a young pirate here. That's broken. Let's take that. Swap over. Heal up, as we've done. And take him out. Very good. And I might just eat that. Thank you very much. So yeah, um, I guess in a way, it's sort of like, you, you sort of want to, I guess, get involved in that sort of mechanic. You sort of need to, uh, I guess, pay to play, in a way. And what I mean by that is more or less just around, um, you know, purchasing so the the coin aspect so it's not so much um you know you're using physical money you're basically trying to um you know accumulate the in-game currency and then from there it's up to you if you want to make that purchase to you know uh do a raid or not and that's entirely up to you guys so yeah that's how i sort of look at it um oh geez i didn't realize i had aggro view as well let's just take you out and yeah, not too bad. We're we're doing fine here, but yeah, that's how um that's how I'm looking at it. Um, you know, maybe in future I might want to get into it, but I think for now, uh, do I want to take that with me? I might just take that with me. Not too keen on that for now. Well, you know what? Look, I'll take it, and if I want to, um, if I need to drop something, then I'll drop it. How about that? I think that's probably the best way to do it. Yep. Yeah, so, don't get me wrong, it's, I do like um, updates as they come. Uh, I don't believe that all updates are for everyone, and, you know, uh, for me, I don't think the um, the rating update was for me, but, you know, and, and that's just the way how the game goes, you know. They, when the game does get updated, you know, you're going to get some, um, I guess, it's going to be like a love-hate sort of thing, right? And I think that's um, I think that's important because it's always it's always good to um, I guess uh, voice your opinions, you know. Um, and and I've said it before in other games as well. Like um, it's not like the I guess in a way the developers don't do it to annoy people or to piss anyone off. They do it because they're they're trying to um, see what works and what doesn't work. So you know we've had a rating system for quite uh for you know quite a number of um i guess time or a length of time and now that they've you know completely sort of changed how the whole system works you know it just shows that they're sort of trying to innovate um, and i think that's important because you know without uh, innovation and uh, feedback you know how else are you going to um you know uh, progress and you know be, become better and that comes down to you know um, a lot of factors and the big factor for me is um, play feedback so with play feedback when you um, you know when you don't so much criticize you basically um, you voice your opinion you make it known you basically tell them that what you like or what you don't like about what the um, uh, what, what you do or don't like about uh, you know the update and I'm sure what happens from there after they'll go ahead and improve on um, you know uh, on what they've done and you know it might be for for worse or for better but you always want to sort of make try and make it a um, uh, make it something a little bit more positive uh, actually you know what I'll do quickly is let's go ahead and split that up um, am I interested in picking up that sure let's just do that anyway yeah, so back to it. So I think that's, um, you know, a, a very important thing for a lot of people to, um, you know, I, I guess in a way understand. Um, and not in a, in a bad way, but I mean more or less in a, in a way that you've got to look at it from their perspective and what they're trying to do and what their aim and I guess what their vision is. And I'm sure that there's going to be other updates that people are going to love, they're going to enjoy. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just my take on it. And <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully you guys, um, you know, can appreciate that. So, yeah, so pretty much, I guess that's everything that I sort of wanted to cover um, in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure that you um, you hit the, the like button, let me know. And if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to, uh, to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs> Sorry. Lost my, my train of thought there. Sort of trying to work out what I wanted and what I didn't want. Uh, cool, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to hang on to him. 
Um, what else do I want to sort of make part ways with? I think everything here, from a volume perspective, I think that's everything that I really wanted. Ah, that's everything. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect timing. Ah, and we've got a young pirate here to end out the video. So yeah, any anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought about the, uh, the, uh, the goon refuge and uh let me know what you if you feel that it is um a, a place that's worth it is there any places that you guys want me to try um you know uh with scrolls and whatnot or even just any um general um zones uh do you want me to do the damned island you know I, i've done it before i haven't done it in quite a while so that might be something i could be looking at doing um but yeah uh let me know your opinions and uh pop them in the comments but otherwise um i'm out of here Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, do all that sort of good stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.